when you ask people how much does your dream life cost, ninety nine point nine percent of people don't even have an idea. And then when you actually write it down, like okay, maybe you'll have like a nice exotic car, a nice mansion or penthouse that you live in, and a major city, a good social life, an amazing dating life, whether that be a relationship or multiple, whatever you want to do, whether that be good brotherhood, good friends. Like if you write all of that stuff down and you actually like food, social life, stuff like that, like my dream life is what I came down with like 5.6 to like 7.8k a month. That's not millions of millions of dollars. And I feel like everybody should kind of do that exercise. And obviously you can go into like private jets and multiple places. That's when the number goes up. But like your initial dream life, it's, it's a lot, lot, lot closer than people realize. And I think it's a massively valuable exercise. Because otherwise, everybody has this ominous million-dollar target or multi-million-dollar target. And then they're like, why is that the target? Oh, this guy said it. But that's not your target. That's his mm. target. What's your target? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess you got to couple that with, I mean, just, just for people listening, like some sort of passive income to make sure you're covering that burn rate too. Because once that's you get fine. to the number, it's not like, oh, I don't need to make any money anymore. Like if your number you come up with is a million dollars or two million and you're like, oh, I got there. I don't need to do anything else anymore. It's like, hey, that's you're going to burn through that. Like, do you want to live like this for a year or two? You want to live like this for the rest of your life. So that, yeah, that's important too to have that kind of passive income, which probably one of the reasons that brought us all together, isn't it? Passive income. Exactly. And it's easy to reverse engineer because once you kind of have that target, let's say five grand, then you basically, okay, what's your average portfolio returns in actual DeFi yield? And obviously there's other stuff you can do outside of hacks. But let's say it's 15% as an example. Like you basically take 5,000 and you do that times 12, which is 60,000 a year divided by 15%, which means your portfolio size should be roughly around 400 to 600 grand. And you're already at that target passively if you're able to generate 15% yield a year on average on your portfolio. And obviously, this is not accounting for a volatility, but that number is a lot closer than people realize. Yeah, there's a lot of people moving to you know other countries or other states and things where it's cheaper, and that's going to you know cause fluctuations in your price calculations too. Oh, um, yeah. So. 100%. Definitely. Like you don't live in San Francisco versus living in, you know, uh, Eastern Europe or, or somewhere like that, or, or even just a cheaper state, uh, you know, just go to, go to Wikipedia and sort by the, the highest income states or, you know, the highest cost or the lowest cost of living and stuff like that. And you'll, you'll see where your money goes the farthest. If you want to, the only thing about doing that is now, okay. Uh, are you going to be able to live the lifestyle you want? Are you going to have, where your friends, you gotta live, you know, you're probably gonna leave some people behind. Are you okay with that? How, how, you know, there's a lot of other factors that go into it too. It's not 